In this illustration, uh, we intend to simulate the load capacity of a single pile in the multi-layer soil using better method in the Abacus software. The soil is composed of two layers. The top layer is NC clay layer with a thickness of 10 meters and the below layer is OC clay layer. The embedded length of pile is uh, 25 meters. In the right diagram, the loading capacity calculated uh, using the beta method and the Abacus software were compared together and the loading capacity calculated taking advantage of the Abacus software has been marked out with brown color. Actually, we intend uh, to simulate the problem 8.7 from Sam Helvani book in the Abacus software. As it can be observed in this picture, uh, the soil is composed of two layers and the properties of each layer are different from the other. The pile is made of concrete uh, with an embedded length of 25 meters, diameter of 0 0.8 meters, and the groundwater table is on the ground surface. Here NC clay means normally consolidated and OC clay means uh, over consolidated. I click on assign section, select the top layer, done, select NC clay, section and OK. I will select bottom layer, done, select OC clay section and OK. I will click on assign section, select the pile, done, here select the concrete section and OK. I click on create interaction property. contact and continue. I'll select normal behavior from mechanical menu, then select tangential behavior from this menu, and then penalty. You can calculate the coefficient of uh, friction between the pile and the top layer uh, using this formula. In this formula, phi is friction angle that is equal to 18 degrees. In this manner, the coefficient of friction is equal to 0 0.216. I will click on Create Load, select Step 1 then body force and continue. Here we intend to apply the effective specific weight of soil. I will select the top layer, done. As you can observe in this picture, the specific weight of saturated soil is equal to 18.5 kilonewton per cubic meter, the effective weight of which is equal to negative 8,500 Newton per cubic meter and OK. I'll click on create predefined field again. Select geostatic stress and OK. I will select the bottom layer, done. At the depth of 10 meters, the stress is equal to negative 85,000. And at the depth of negative uh, 50 meters, the stress is equal to 85,000 plus effective weight of the bottom layer uh, multiplied by uh, 40 meters.
You can calculate the coefficient of lateral earth pressure for the bottom layer using this formula. In here, phi prime friction angle in more column and is equal uh, to 22 degrees and OCR over consolidation ratio that is equal to 2. In this manner, uh, K0 is equal to uh, 0 0.88. I will enter lateral coefficient equal to 0 0.88 and OK. Then I will click on seed edge, select these lines, done. From here select single, then enter minimum size equal to 0 0.5 meters and maximum size equal to 4 meters. I'll click on select, select these four lines, done and OK. Here, I'll uh, select the contour of pore water pressure. Uh, here, we intend to calculate the ultimate load capacity of the pile. The ultimate load capacity of the pile uh, is the total of friction capacity and the end bearing capacity and you can observe the way the friction capacity and end bearing capacity have been calculated in this picture. The ultimate load capacity is equal to 1,325 kN, the diagram of which has been drawn in this Excel file. Actually, the ultimate uh, load capacity has been drawn using beta method in the Excel file. Now I intend to calculate the ultimate load capacity using the Abacus software. To do so, I will click on Create XY Data, then select ODB Field Output and Continue. Here I will deactivate the Step 1 and Step 2. From here I will select Unique Nodal, then select reaction force in Y direction. Then select the nodes over the top of pile and click on save. Here I will select combine and then select uh, sum of reaction forces then U2 and then click on plot. Here I will put a negative sign, click on save as and OK. I will select these two columns, copy and paste them in the Excel software. Select this column as x-axis. Select this one as y-axis. And OK in this manner. Here the diagram having been drawn in brown uh, is the diagram having been obtained uh, from the Abacus software. Actually, the brown diagram is the long-term load capacity of pile having been obtained in drainage condition. The blue 
uh, diagram is the load capacity of pile having been obtained by a better method, the quantity of which is equal to 1,325 kN and the ultimate load capacity obtained from the Abacus software is 2,100 kN.